first we're going to install the customer display. You're going to want to flip it over, hold the screen and push down on the stand to snap it out of place. Once you have it out, you can see that there's four holes on the corners and that's where we're going to line up our base of plate to slide it in. Once you have it in the holes, you're going to push up to secure it, making sure that it's flush against the screen. Then we'll take our mounting bracket, line it up with the holes. Then we're going to grab our screws and start to hand thread them and then finish it off with the drill. Tapping the drill or very slowly using the drill to fasten the screws. Once the bracket has been fastened, we're going to take the flat USB-C cable and run it through the pole. Once you run it through, you're going to go ahead and screw in the customer display. It also has the capability to tilt, so you can do that once it's in place. Next, we're going to work on the PC. You're going to flip it over and then squeeze the metal wires, pull them out so that you can insert your USB-C cable. Remember for the PC, the USB-C cable is round. So once you get it in there, you can push the wires in to make sure the USB-C cable stays in securely. We're going to put our mounting bracket in place. And for the PC portion, we use a nut and bolt. I just hold the nut with my hand and screw in the bolt with the other hand um, to get them all started. And then I'll use a drill to lightly fasten the nut and bolt. Next, we're gonna run the cable similar to how we did the customer display. Once it's in, you're gonna screw in the PC. And this also has the capability to tilt. Now we're gonna move on to the cash drawer. Flip it over and you'll see an RJ45 port there. You're gonna take your cash drawer cable and the bigger end on the cash drawer cable is the RJ45. So just plug it in, flip the cash drawer back over and now we'll move on to the printer. You're gonna open that and insert the paper just how I'm doing it here. Once you've got it in, go ahead and turn the printer around so that we can get to the ports. There's going to be three cables that go here. Your USB B end, which we'll put in first. And then your Epson power cable. And then the other end of your cash drawer cable, which is RJ11, a little bit smaller. Next, we'll move on to the Ingenico pin pad, the Lane 3000 and the Lane 7000 both have the same type of connection. So you put it in there, it's an HDMI to connection, and then it'll come with two little screws that you can put in to fasten that connection. It also has an, a DC power supply that you plug in near the USB cable. For the Verifone, it's similar. This one actually pops out, and then you just insert the cable Put the cover back on and this also has dc power near the usb cable here i'm showing you how i run the pin pad cables into the hole here next we're going to use the scanner scale, just flip it on its side and it's easier to plug in and see where you're plugging things in. First, we'll put the 12 volt DC in to make sure it's in there securely. Next, we're gonna take the RJ45 end of the serial cable and plug it into the POS port. Once we have it all plugged in, we can flip it around and put our platter back on. 
The power to the Zebra has three pieces. It's the cable that we just plugged in, and that connects to this power brick. And then it has an AC power cord, like a standard computer power cord that you plug in, and then that goes to the wall. Next, we'll have our USB hand scanner, which is just a USB cable. And then we'll take the hub where everything's gonna plug into, and we could just choose a, a USB port there for it. The USB-C flat cable is gonna go all the way to the right into the USB-C cable port. And then the round USB-C cable is gonna go into the center USB-C port. And that will have a lightning bolt next to it indicating that it will power. Next, the printer USB. Then our pin pad USB. We have our ser um, serial cable here, and that does need to go into COM A, the serial COM A port. Next, we're going to take the power for the HP. I'll go ahead and plug that in. And then just do a quick review. Make sure everything's plugged in and fastened. If you need to, screw that in. And then last, we're going to take our internet cable and plug that in all the way to the right there. And now you just power your PC on. I'm George, I'm a fourth generation grocer. I want to say welcome to the team. We're looking forward to supporting you in all your point of sale grocery needs. Make sure to subscribe to our social media, uh, our blog, and then we're also coming out with the podcast. If you ever have any feedback for us, love to hear it. Make sure to email us and just let us know. Always learning and we're always growing. Hope you can be successful because your success is our success. Thank you.